Genevieve Unaji is back and she's not just back but she's back with a new movie so I missed all the rumors you know of people talking here and there saying different things that is happening to her or happening with her <laughs> Genevieve has been working she has been working on producing a new movie titled I Do Not Come To You By Chance that premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival you guys stay tuned to the video because I'm going to be giving you guys some tea I'm going to be telling you guys some details about the movie and about Genevieve Naji. So if that sounds like what you like to see, then definitely keep on watching. This is Becky Culture Media where we talk about trending news and events. You can tell that it's going to be an interesting video. So please, before we go on, just click on the like button, okay? And if you're new to the channel, you're most definitely welcome. You can become a family member by subscribing to the channel and also click on the notification bell so you can get free notifications whenever there's a new upload here. To all my returning subscribers, you know that we love you so much. Thank you for tuning in. So Genevieve Naji stormed our Instagram feed recently with these amazing pictures announcing her movie premiere. You guys know that she doesn't talk much. All she did was just to write the title of the movie, I Do Not Come To You By Chance. And, you know, look at her looking so beautiful and so gracious. Like, can we just talk about her beauty for a bit? Because you can't talk about Genevieve and not talk about her beauty. Like, the smile, the color, everything. Like, she's forever young, forever beautiful. Like, this lady is always looking so gracious and so so loving so one thing i like about her is that she doesn't talk much she allows her action do the explanation for her i remember back then when people were saying how jennifer naji has a mental case she's ill and all of that she didn't she didn't even come to do any explanation or anything she just came with one video of her speaking at the creative african nexus weekend and she spoke so graciously and so beautifully and that was just the whole explanation that everybody needed to understand that genevieve is mentally okay President and Chairman of Board of Directors, Sir and also in May 2023, she low-key celebrated her birthday with close family and friends and pictures and videos also surfaced online. And back in August during summer, she was seen with her friend Oluchi having a summer break. And, you know, she has just been living her life low-key. But while at that, she has also been working on this movie. And this will be a second attempt on movie production, with the first being The Lion Art, which she produced back in 2018, which made her the first Nigerian producer to make a Netflix movie. Like she paved the way for Nigerian producers when it comes to Netflix movies. Because you guys know that after she launched Lion Heart in 2018, Nigerian movies has been a hit on Netflix. So this movie that she's coming up with now is titled I Do Not Come To You By Chance, which is an adaptation of the book written by Adobe Trisha Uwambani. The book has won an award back in 2010 at Commonwealth Writers Prize for Best First Book Africa. The book is also named as one of the Washington's Post Best Book of the Year. So this is an award-winning book. And I think the story of the book is what this um, movie is going to be about. Now, the movie features notable Nigerian actors like Blossom Chukujeku, Jennifer Ereliogu. We also have Beverly Osu, Nobet Young, amongst others. So the pictures and videos you are seeing on your screen right now is from the Toronto International Film festival where the premiere of this movie actually happened now this is particularly interesting because the toronto international film festival is one of the most prestigious and anticipated film festivals in the world it's old every september and is highly attended by filmmakers and viewers from across the world 
So Genevieve Nanji is making Nigeria proud again. The first time being the first Nigerian producer to debut a movie on Netflix. And then now she's premiering a movie at the Toronto International Film Festival. Can we just talk about how Genevieve would always be relevant? Like even if she goes MIA for five years or she goes MIA for 10 years, whenever she comes back, everybody just wants to see what she has to bring to the table like that name Genevieve Naji would always ring a bell I do not know about the Gen Z or I don't know about the Gen Z if they respect her that much but I know for my generation the millennial generation we respect Genevieve a lot we love her because back then she used to grace our screen back back in the 90s and the early 20s she used to grace our screen like genevieve was a big hit i would never forget that period when if you don't have genevieve in your movie what are you doing like a movie producer and you don't have genevieve in your movie what are you doing like that movie is not going to sell <laughs> So she 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 has made a mark that would never be forgotten. And whenever she goes MIA, she likes she should go MIA for 10 years. When she comes back, we are here to see what she has to offer. And yeah, so she gave us the special announcement via her Instagram handle. And as you can see, um, she didn't say much. She only wrote the title of the movie. So will the movie be viewable in Nigeria? You guys should let me know. I've been trying to do a bit of a research on, you know, how we can get to see the movie. Will it be on Netflix or will it be on Showmax? Or is it going to be in the cinemas? Like, I don't even know. Or is it going to be available to only people in Canada? I don't have that information yet. But please, if you do have an information on how we can get to see the movie, then please let us know. She didn't say anything about the release date of the movie, but I'll keep my fingers crossed. I'll be looking out for those updates. Once there is any update, I'll definitely bring it to you guys on the channel. So stay tuned to the channel. Have you clicked on the like button yet? Please, please click on the like button. It is really important that you click on the like button. Okay. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because here we share content about trending news and events so if you like to stay updated on you know the happenings around nigeria and around the world subscribe to the channel and to all our returning subscribers we love you guys so much thank you for tuning in i'll see you in my next one bye for now